Well, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. Transform your life. When you refuse to take things personally, you avoid many upsets in your life. Your feeling of anger, jealousy, and even sadness will simply disappear if you don't take them personally. Knock it eyes! Let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 42. NASDAQ, Dow, Dow, Dow Industrials down 17. NASDAQ down 42. S&P's flat. Gold contract down $3.90, trading at 1491 an ounce. We got silver down $0.03, cents, $17.84 an ounce. Light sweet crude. Down 34 cents, fifty-five dollars forty-seven cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the ten-year down. You get the ten-year up three ticks, one twenty-nine oh eight. The thirty-year up thirteen at one fifty-eight twenty-two. And King dollar. King dollar down eighty-one ticks, trading ninety-seven six eighty-three. The euro is at one eleven. The yen is at one hundred eight point eight three. And the pound is at one twenty-eight to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so we're at all-time highs. We take a look at the SPY out here. This is what you have happening. The SPY, the all-time high that I took out was 302.46. We did it yesterday. Yesterday, you get up to 303.85. You close at uh, 302.30. Today, we get to a higher high. Bottom line, we'll see what this shakes out. We get 32 million shares versus 42 million from yesterday. This baby at highs breaking away from, uh, well, it hasn't broken away from the high whatsoever, folks. Okay, so the bottom line, this sign that we have right here, these are two small dojis at the high. You get a little drop down tomorrow, you're going to have an island top. That is telling me that we're going to stay in this consolidation. When we put this back up, you put this back up at a little bit longer period, you're going to see that this consolidation has been going on for quite some time. This consolidation started June of 2019. Now, you get a lower number, but not by much, by only by 10 points. And that number goes all the way out, going back until September of 2018. So that's approximately a year. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. What we have in the NDX right now is that uh, NDX got over the highs yesterday, got into that uh, gap tire. Right now, that's down a buck 30. Uh, it'll have to get back inside 195.55. Right now, you're at 196.25. The small caps, forget it. The small caps, they topped out July of 2018, and uh, they got a nice run. They, they, they run up to the top of the range, um, the top of that range being uh, 158 inside of the IWM. You bring this back, and you're going to see how this is uh, laid out here. Uh, the, the IWM has been in a consolidation a lower consolidation for exactly a year right now. Uh, that consolidation started at the downdraft of uh, the second week of October of last year. The top of that consolidation is 161. Right now, you're at 157. Gold, silver, bottom line, they both look to me like they're setting up for a nice little run tomorrow. So this is going to be pretty wild watching this. We know we're going to get high volatility uh, when the Fed comes out with the statement at 2 o'clock, the News conference at 2.30. Right now, the market, the expectation inside the marketplace is that you will get a quarter point rate cut. It's going to bring uh, the short-term rate from 1.75 down to 1.50 to 1.75. Uh, bottom line, then what are they going to say in, inside the statement? What can they say? The bottom line is we're, we're at all-time highs, and uh, they're cutting rates. So we'll find out uh, how this shakes out. We'll find out exactly how this market is going to react to it. Right now, it looks to me that the gold contract wants to go higher. We get over and we take a look at the silver contract. Silver set up the same way. We get the silver contract that rejected lower price today at $17.60. You have 76,000 contracts traded. We're trading 20 cents higher right now at $17.80. And on Friday, we had gone topside with volume. And what ends up happening is this, is that when you go topside with volume, most times you come right back up to that level within one or two days. We're the second day right now. 
I suspect tomorrow is going to be the day it's going to go right after that again, which is the 1835. We take a look at the note and bond structure, and what we did have with this, this is going to be so cool watching how this shakes out, folks. The reason being, of course, is that in order to wrap your head around the bond market in general, it, it's pretty tough. The reason is that, just like I said a little bit earlier, you're at all-time highs, but yet the Fed is still continuing to reduce rates. Well, that hasn't happened in our lifetime, okay? The 10-year right now is at 1.83. Uh, the losing trade on a continual basis for 35 years right now has been shot in bonds. <laughs> and in particular, it's been a losing trade in an extraordinary way the last five or six years because, you know, there's, there's plenty of people that went there. Um, and, you know, you can see why, but guess what? Um, my take is that it's still a losing trade shot in bonds. Because the way this bond market is trading right now, watch this. You know, we came down and we came down September 13th. For, well, first off, the 10-year made its highs on September 3rd, this last run-up, September 3rd, okay? That's when we 132. We came down hard till September 13th, and it kept big volume. The volume there was uh, 2.4 million contracts. But that was going against the breakout area from August 1st. Breakout, August 1st was a monster day in the way up. That's a natural retracement in a market that still wants higher price. And sure enough, what do we do? We get higher price. Now, what do we do now? I mean, last two or three weeks, you've been slowly coming down to this high volume low. And the contraction of volume is dramatic. I mean, yesterday we did 1.1 million going against the 2.4. Today, you're probably going to do 1.1 also. That's telling me that, guess what? We're going topside once again. Um, it's, it's going to be wild watching this thing, how this thing shakes out, man. Because I can't picture what they're going to say um, inside of the aspect of their speech. I, I actually can. And <laughs> yeah, when we come back, we'll talk about this. Because what just happened today is that they more than likely knew this. The White House just came out, folks. And they're saying that they want to be able to dictate where and how all the car companies do business. Yes, you heard that correct. Where and how they do business. And I'm talking about flat out. They, they get a little structure here. So, open markets. Hi, folks. Tom